Hello, Jackie Van Riller here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the upper lip, particularly smoker's lines, and then also the decade of the 50s. This area here has to do with many different areas of your body, but it has to do with the decade of the 50s. Whether you are past the decade of the 50s, in the decade of the 50s, or prior to the decade of the 50s, it still matters. So if you're before the decade of the 50s, it's giving you a little bit of a clue of what's to come. If you're in the decade, you're probably feeling it right now. Um, and if you're past the decade of the 50s and you still have smoker's lines or lines on that upper lip, then that is telling you that you haven't quite learned the lesson that you were supposed to learn in that decade. So as you see, I do have smoker's lines. And so I am particularly interested in these and I'm particularly interested in minimizing these before I turn 50. I'm 48 right now, so I just have a couple of years and I'm gonna tell you a about what they mean. So this area of the upper lip is an area for the pancreas, so it has to do with blood sugar regulation. It's also an area of the reproductive system, particularly having to do with hormonal regulation. And it's also an area that has to do with inflammation and decreasing inflammation in your body. I am a total sugar addict. I have been addicted to sugar all of my life. It's just been within the last year or two that I've really um, put the kibosh on that. And I have, um, decrease my sugar intake by eating a lot more protein and a lot more fat, particularly animal protein, animal fat, and red meat. And that has actually decreased these lines somewhat, but has definitely regulated my blood sugar a lot. Um, I was noticing that I was constantly hungry, constantly grazing, constantly eating, because I was like, oh, I'm starving, I'm starving, I'm starving, because I was filling my body with carbohydrates. And when you think of the word carbohydrates, Actually, think of it, a carb holds on to three times its weight in water. So it's not that the carbohydrates are hydrating you, the carbs are actually being hydrated. And so um, particularly as we're going up towards that age of 50, our body starts to hold on to more water and more inflammation. So a lot of times you may notice that as you're younger, you have a lot of energy, you don't really hold on to inflammation or fat or things like that, but as you're getting closer and closer and closer to that decade of 50, your body starts holding on to more fat, more fluid, more inflammation, you lose energy and things like that because your body is telling you that your liver is tired. Your liver is the organ that um, produces your hormones for you. Um, and so I was actually noticing this in kind of like my mid 40s is that I was like, why do I not have as much energy? Why am I putting on weight? Why am I feeling puffy? Like I was noticing that my feet would get kind of swollen and arms, hands would get swollen and things like that. And so um, I began to do a deep dive into diet and you know a lot of this other stuff too, as well as the face reading and the facial reflexology. And what I realized is that my habits of eating a lot of sugar, eating a lot of carbohydrates was causing my body to store fat, to store fluid, and to decrease my energy and to kind of mess up my hormones as well. So this is an area of all of those things. So you can always, of course, work this area with your detector. And this is going to help with blood sugar regulation. It's going to help with hormonal regulation. It's gonna to help to decrease inflammation. But if you're constantly putting inflammatory things into your body, whether it be you know, toxins, things that you can't pronounce or you don't know what they are, or whatever, over time your liver is going to build up this toxic load and it stores these toxins in fat. And particularly, you know, as we get closer to that age of 50, our bodies begin to store more as fat. We begin to store um, more fluids as inflammation and then that messes up our hormones and all of that. So this is something I'm doing regularly just to kind of work out these lines. And I have noticed that as I've giving up carbohydrates more and more and more, that these lines are starting to fade a little bit. I'm not noticing them as much. Um, I've got a little ways to go, and I definitely want to keep working these prior to turning 50, because when you have these lines coming up to the age of 50, or if you're in your 50s, they're saying that you're going to have more issues with menopause, more issues with hormonal regulation, possibly more, more issues with inflammation, and then emotionally what these lines mean or that you're somebody who has kind of ignored your own needs and you're giving and giving and giving to other people, but you're giving to other people with kind of this expectation of a return um, for you. And generally what happens is that you don't know yourself enough to know what you want. And so you're kind of hoping that somebody that you're giving stuff to, that you're giving time and energy and 
money or what resources, whatever, to will choose something for you that you're going to really like and enjoy. And then you feel kind of disappointed because you don't really get what you want in return, but it's hard for somebody else to give you what you want in return when you don't know what you want. And so this line is also, these lines are telling you that it's at the age of 50, it's a time for you to go from a time of like giving and mothering and um, focusing on other people to a time on, of focusing on what your own needs and desires are. So um, this has to do with the pancreas. The pancreas is about the sweetness of life. And oftentimes people who are over givers, who um, don't recognize their own desires, tend to turn to sweets to, to sweeten their life. And so these lines are telling you that it's time for you to find activities that you really enjoy that are gonna sweeten your life. So it's a time to start taking classes, to start seeing what you enjoy, what lights you up? What can you do for hours at a time and just kind of lose track of time because you're having so much fun? So I hope that you um, got some enjoyment out of this video. If you're interested in learning about other areas of your face and other time markers, let me know. Particularly, let me know if there's an area of your face that you find that you have more markings around. Uh, maybe it's the forehead, the eyes, the nose, the chin, or something like that. You know, we can talk about what decade it is and what the emotional and physical um, associations are with those lines. All right, I will see you in the next video.